Welcome back. Increasingly, residents and businesses are breaking out of blue cities as crime and taxes are on the rise. Fox Business's Lydia Hu is live this morning in Chicago with more. Lydia. Good morning, Maria. We know that Ken Griffin took Citadel down to Miami, leaving the Windy City. And McDonald's is headquartered right here in this neighborhood. The CEO of the major corporation saying that crime has been a problem for recruitment to McDonald's locations. And now we're hearing from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange CEO that higher taxes might force him to move the exchange out of the Windy City. To help us understand the impact on small businesses, too, we're pleased to have Roger Romanelli here. You are the CEO of the Fulton Market Association, and you represent hundreds of businesses in this neighborhood. I want to show our viewers a video of a recent shooting that happened in September right here at this restaurant just behind us. Roger, as we're watching the bullets rain down here on patrons that were dining here, right. what was your reaction and what have you been asking the city help with? I'll tell you, I've worked in Chicago for 33 years as an urban planner. I have never, ever seen a crime like this, yeah. unprovoked, that we had at the Sidewalk Cafe. Mm. And so the reaction of small businesses across our city are, they are very shocked, they're deeply concerned, but they truly care about our city and they want to be part of the solutions. Well, what is the solution here? What can be done? We believe we can impact crime immediately. Chicago needs high-tech cameras to help our police officers. Mm -hmm. Our officers have asked for cameras at community meetings. They can't go official, but they've asked for more cameras. We're 1,200 police officers down. If we can get up a network of cameras that can read license plates and catch these criminals, we can reduce crime immediately. You know, we asked the city of Chicago, the mayor's office, what the response has been to this shooting, if they have any plans to get more cameras. We haven't heard back from the city. Have you heard anything back to your requests? We haven't heard back, but what we have seen are newspaper articles that these cameras that we put up on our street poles potentially cost $25,000 per camera. But other cities are spending far less than $25,000. We're asking Mayor Johnson, tell us, do these cameras cost $25,000 or not? Can we get the cost down? Yeah. Do you support more cameras in our city? We can solve, we can impact the crime problem right away. We are going to keep covering it. We so appreciate your perspective on this very important issue. Maria, more than 80,000 residents have left the city of Chicago between 2020 and 2022. That is part of the cycle here, proving a problem for small businesses in Chicago. We'll send it back to you.